And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one goes sailing out of bounds. Where did it cross? Well, they're going to say on this side of midfield. Now it's Mahomes, rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right? Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. It's a big play there, and even 40 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch there. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And his guys have taken the lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the defense. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Got a man, it's Randy Moss complete. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Tucker's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Well, on first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across. Cross midfield. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front 
Really well done. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And that is caught. Herman Moore. Touchdown, Detroit. Herman Moore. 35 yards. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Prater for the extra point. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This one fielded at the five. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get the field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Mahomes will try again on second down. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. On is the Hall of Famer Ray Guy to punt this away on fourth down. Back deep for the Lions. It's Golden Tate. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. You're down three under a minute to go. How aggressive are you going to be in this spot? Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only down three. I mean, it might as well be even going into the half. That's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Yeah. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Stanford. And that is incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And we're going to get a timeout. 
with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Final shot before the half from the homes. Escaping the pressure right. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. There he goes, right side. And all the way in for the touchdown. The kick return touchdown goes for 97 yards. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Ah, oh, what a play by primetime. So electric, the ultimate home run hitter. Now, see, you set that up really nicely for me because I got a nugget. Dion is the only person to hit a home run in Major League Baseball and score an NFL touchdown in the same week. Oh, I like that. Remember, too, the only man to play in both the Super Bowl and the World Series. So now the other return teams out there is they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a new, I'm doing it though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he's got his target, that's more. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Ray Lewis up from his linebacker spot to make the play. On second and seven. Stafford complete to Jones. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Sanders. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Another run here with Sanders. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Herman Moore, his second touchdown of the night. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point good by Prater, and that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. Now 
And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is taken at the three. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. First down and 10 at their own 31-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They'll run on first down. Peyton. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 36, Mahomes. That's complete to his running back, Peyton. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Five yards on the pickup, and that is going to set up a third and one. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This is intercepted. Picked off by Will Harris. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Walter Payton, the intended receiver. After the interception, here's Stafford. He's going to take a shot right away for the... And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Herman Moore, 42 yards. And the Lions are going to jump back in front. Set him back five. Prater on to add the extra point. for the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Throwing now is Mahomes. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he will find T.O. That's complete. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Right there, right there. Mahomes now to throw. Flushed out right. And that 
going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now here's Mahomes. And he's got a man. It's T.O. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Oh, what a juke into space. 20. And now off to the races down the right side. Touchdown. Walter Payton with his second touchdown of the night. And his guys have once again taken the lead. Uh, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last goal around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing to Stafford. He's going to look deep from the... He's got a man complete. It's a big play there for the Lions. 46 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Right back to Sanders on first down. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. From the 17, Stafford. And he has his receiver. That's Jones. Lions touchdown. Marvin Jones there to make the grab as his guys have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. They do tack on the extra point as well, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This fielded at the two. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. First down and 10 at their own 24-yard line. 
The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll keep it on the ground. Peyton, room here to run. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Walter Payton, 72 yards, as his guys have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So... Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. They practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Back to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route, that, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Now here's a timeout coming on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Monday, Monday, Monday. Scoop. They'll try to run with Sanders. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Now it's Stafford. Eluding the pressure right. And that's complete to Sanders. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Now Stafford. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Now Prater to add the PAT. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This will be taken short. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, You've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. Got a man at the six-yard line. 
Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there. At